Hey guys, it's Tinker Taylor here today and I am bringing you probably my favourite room so far. Um, I feel like the further I get into this challenge, excuse me, the more I'm enjoying it. Um, like the, the better I feel my creativity can really be let out. But I also kind of believe it's because um, I have an exam soon. So I've been studying quite honestly non-stop and it's been very, very, very mentally tiring but i guess being able to come and play sims is really helping me just relax a little bit and it, i guess because i am spending all this time and energy on uh i guess non-creative thinking that yeah being able to come back to deal with this like to build and play i say play the sims build on the sims um yeah it's just been really really mentally freeing um and really helped me with a bit of stress which is good um now i had this idea when i was recording i think not the last video but the one before that the dark type room so i've been holding on to this for uh probably a week now and i've really wanted to be like actually just getting in and getting it done um because i really really loved the idea so yeah i straight off the bat it's not functional um i did not even try i mean the other rooms are probably not functional either but this one for sure is not um i mean the first one in the kitchen is probably like the kitchen is probably functional but yeah from then on out I'd, I'd imagine these things are not very functional um but i don't believe that was one of the rules so i'm not really taking it into account um but it's really given me some pretty cool ideas so i think i'm gonna try and do a bigger version of this one day um because it's just really kind of fun and interesting to uh play around with um i think yeah, like, I've not really seen many mine shafts. Like, if you've built a mine shaft, definitely let me know down below. I would love to check it out because, well, I've not really ever seen one. Um, and I feel like I'm going to create another one that's a lot bigger than this. Um, I'm not sure as to how I would quite do it, but, yeah, I kind of really want to build a mine shaft um which i mean i guess i kind of did here but um yeah i don't know it's kind of interesting to to mess around with because i had some ideas and then the other bits i was kind of just leaving to figure out as i did it um i mean i always knew i wanted to do a uh like the rocks and the lights everywhere and the posts everywhere like the the i always forget the name of things the columns that's what i was looking for um the columns everywhere but the attaching support beams along the roof and then the lights um like the lights that i string up those kind of were all I don't want to say like spur of the moment, but definitely spur of the moment. Um, and I think it was, it was just really fun to be able to do something like this. Um, and again, these room builds are only taking me an hour. Like sometimes I spend an hour on a full build. So I feel like spending an hour just on a single room is going to help me in the future with like the proper decent builds um instead of just basic ones that are okay like when i hear people saying they spent 10 hours on a build i'm like how how i can't comprehend how you how you do that but then i spent an hour on this single room and now i'm starting to understand it so yeah um hopefully that'll make life a little life a little easier it'll make my build a little better sorry um the goal, I've been tossing up whether or not I want to do, um, 
I don't even know what they're called anymore. I've completely lost my train of thought. Uh, stop motions instead of speed builds because they're much quicker videos and I don't want to waste your time with like, oh yeah, here's part six of a series because this build took me so long. Um, so, I don't know. I think I might start cutting out things if my videos get too long. Like, if I'm doing a f fancy pattern flooring, I might show you like 10 seconds of it, like the first five seconds and the last five seconds of it sped up. Well, speed it up and only show the first and last five seconds. So you only see about 10 seconds of flooring rather than a bajillion seconds of flooring um, and things like that. See, I, I really don't like the idea of cutting things out because um, in one of the videos where James Turner did it, I was like, but I was trying to see how you did a particular thing and you, you cut over that spot. And that was really kind of frustrating for me because I was like, I really wanted to see how you did what you did and I couldn't because you you skipped over that part so I don't want to do that for anyone else um but the flooring bit like you'll still see how I did it and you know if I'm going around putting columns everywhere and it takes a long time or you know I'm fiddling around with the roof I might skip over some of it but I'll try not to skip over anything that's like oh I wonder how they did that because, yeah, I was really, I don't want to say annoyed and frustrated, but it was just like I really wanted to see that and I missed out. And I could download the build and figure it out, but I couldn't even tell you today what the build was. Um, so, yeah, and I mean, that's why I also like stop motions is because you can see it in a, like, yeah, it's fast, but you also can see it in a manner that isn't too fast. Sometimes speed builds like this, it's just like, it jumps around so much and you're like, how, how, what, 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 hello? And suddenly you're done and it's like, okay, cool, I got to see the end result, but I was kind of lost in the middle there. I mean, I even slowed down my, um, videos. At first I was doing them eight times speed and yeah, now I've just downloaded, I downloaded them down. I reduced the speed, that's what I was looking for. I reduced the speed to only six times, um, which is also helpful for me to be able to estimate how long something's going to be and if I need to put it in one or two videos. Um, but thankfully all these room builds have been one so far. Even if the others are a little longer. I thought this was going to take a little longer, but I think it was one of my quicker ones so far. But yeah, if they are a little longer, I'm going to still try and do them in one video I don't really want to do two parts especially since this is going to take me to the end of December um which is which is fine like I don't mind going to the end of December or well, not the end of December sorry like the start or the middle of December but it's not even November yet so it's gonna take me a very long time to get all these out um but I think it's a good thing at the moment because I am moving um actually this time next week when that video is out, I will be like uh, nine hours into traveling, moving. Um, I plan on leaving really early. So yeah, I'll be almost where I need to be, um, like where I'm moving to. So yeah, it's gonna be a very, interesting time because I haven't finished the, this build I did last night um and I'm doing the video like the the day you see this is the day I did this video so yeah I'm a little bit behind because I have an exam and then I'm packing and moving but I think for a late night I don't want to say stress build but like I had to build this before I went to bed so that I could record this now um I think I did a pretty decent job um I did get a little lost with how to clutter the floor which is a good thing that I'm not a part of clutter wars because they, they oh my goodness the clutter some people put in those rooms they're amazing um but yeah I don't know I thought this was super I don't want to say eye-opening, but it was super different. It was something that really kind of got me outside of my um, 
I don't want to say comfort zone because this was really fun for me to do, but it got me out of the same old, same old pattern zone, I guess. Um, instead of just doing a house over and over again. Like, yeah, I'm doing the same room over and over again, but I'm doing it quite differently, especially this room. Um, but yeah, definitely go check out Tiny Snubbull, um, because they are the creator of this challenge and they're amazing. Um, and actually they inspired my last, uh, my last build for this, the, the psychic room. Um, so yeah, definitely go check them out because this is their challenge and it's been so much fun, uh, getting to know them and, and playing in like participating in the challenge. But yeah, I'll hopefully see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.